But with this fast moving storm and moving just east of the city, there's optimism now that that will be a not enough time to get enough water up in there that it would breach the levees back down into downtown New Orleans. And so the, the uh, flooding, the massive flooding that was feared does not look like it's going to happen. But that doesn't mean there won't be big problems. Let's check in with David Bernard now, who's very familiar with new hurricanes in New Orleans, uh, about uh, where it stands and what's going on, on the radar right now, David. And that's the most important point, Brian, is the slow moving major storms, 10 miles per hour or less, allows for the enormous amount of water to pile into this area and this area and then eventually flood the city. And it looks like today with Katrina moving at a pretty good clip at 15 miles an hour to the north or north northeast and passing east of the city instead of over into the west that the catastrophic flooding may be avoided. And here's real time Doppler and UPN 33. Again, the center right in this vicinity here, some really nasty stuff now moving through uh, the downtown part of New Orleans and the New Orleans East area. Also, these communities Slidell and Mandeville. Uh, these are very highly populated, new populated areas north of Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, they're going to see possibly tidal flooding up there as the storm goes by to the north. The winds will come around to the west over Lake Pontchartrain and push the water back this direction once the hurricane passes. But of course, the main emphasis, as Brian mentioned, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast where the heaviest uh, action is going to be. There's a little closer look and this is probably the northern extent of the eye wall right here. So right now is the worst weather that they're going to see in New Orleans is probably now and for the next hour or two until we can get this uh, eye wall shifting off to the north and the east. And Brian, that's how it looks right now on real time Doppler. All right, uh, the uh, good news is this, uh, let's add up the good news here because we do have some this morning. The storm is moving fast and it is sliding off to the east and the timing on and also the fact that the storm seems to be weakening some. So those three things added up. Uh, what, are we going to know, David, and before it's over that this isn't going to happen? Can we tell by the tie gauges or just not enough tie gauges still working to know well, that it's not going to happen? Yeah, a couple of them haven't been working and uh, the one that I've been able to get somewhat reliable data on on Lake Pontchartrain was up about another foot in the past hour, but I've also uh, read a few things and heard from some emergency management people down there that they feel that so far everything looks contained as far as the levee system protecting New Orleans. Outside the levee system, of course, there are people that live uh, out in this area. They are going to have a very severe inundation from uh, tidal flooding. That is a, a sure bet. All right, David. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and check in with Pamela Wright. She's got the latest on the South Florida forecast on Tropical Depression 13 and what may end up being Tropical Depression 14. Pamela. We'll see where both of those